All right, guys, so I do a quick video showing you how I jig kokanee. This is the little pink fuzz bomb, the inch and a half size, which I really like. It's calm out. Um, I seem to get more hits on this than the larger sizes. We got, we're kind of out of the wind in this little cove here, so I just went over a school of fish. I might have to go back over top of them, but just tip it with some bait. Usually cured shrimp, but the pink maggot seem to be working good too. So I just drop her down. typically to the bottom and then reel up a crank or two if, if I can see it on the fish finder. There's me going down right now. I'll stop if I'm right on a school, but we just passed over that school. So I'm gonna go to the bottom, wait till my line goes slack. Oh, there's a fish down there on bottom. Reel up a crank or two off bottom, maybe three. And just quick little pops just like that instantly oh he's coming straight up coming straight up coming straight up don't get tangled in that rig there we go it's that easy this little ultralight rod is a blast with the kokanee too it's got lots of bend there's fish number one that's a good size one too that literally took well, I don't know what the camera says, but just a few seconds after I dropped down on that school. Look at them all. All right, guys, we're on bottom. Just going to reel up a couple cranks. Two or three cranks off bottom. Just a quick pop. Quick pop, let it settle. Quick pop, let it settle. Some fish hit it on the fall. Most of them hit it on the fall. Some hit it after you pause for a second or two. Big fish going through at 29, so I'm just going to reel up. So that fish, oh yeah, there's a school. A little higher up. Ooh, there's a fish. Right below the boat. <laughs> Holy smoke. Jump right in the boat, not a small one. I saw him come up to 10 feet. I didn't know where my buzz bomb was, but apparently it was at 10 feet. Oh my god, this little ultralight makes it so fun. Even little guys. <laughs> 